Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's JPEG Derek. I'm up at Towson University. I'm gonna be taking photos of students on Instax Minis. Let's see what it do. All right, I'm here with Nicole. Nicole. All right, so when was the last time you felt like you were understood? When was the last time I felt like I was understood? Probably like Tuesday, no, nah, like Monday night. Want to tell me about that? I was with my boyfriend and mm -hmm. I was upset and he really understood that like I just wanted to be comforted and all that. So yeah. How did that make you feel? Good, like um, safe mostly, yeah. Understood. Understood. Okay. Got gotcha, you. Got gotcha. you. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, Nicole. I appreciate that. Have a good day. You too. And I'm basically gonna take a photo of you now. You can keep it. It's yours. And you know what? I think in theory, I think I should take the photo first and then give it to you because there's so much sunlight yeah and i want to get a photo of like the photo so mm -hmm. i can put it on the channel too Hold up. and this one of my uh stickers right here mm -hmm. i'm a photographer i should have right. said that first so if you found out that you had one year to live what would you do i think if i had one year to live i'd probably spend that entire year just you know getting some things knocked off out the, the bucket list and then maybe like spend time with my family okay what's one of the things on your bucket list i don't know skydive honestly the thrill of it, I think that's probably the best part of it. I bet. That's cool. I appreciate it, man. All right, thank you. What's one goal that you haven't achieved yet and why? I have not written a book yet, and that's a goal of mine. And I haven't achieved it mm -hmm. because I think I prioritized my teaching mm -hmm. uh, in the last eight years since I've been here. Nice. And it's my students that are inspiring me about what's going to go in that book. So okay. I've still got some work to do. Got you. So you're just basically building a foundation for it. That's right. And it's coming along. Okay. Yep. Well, I wish you the best of luck Thanks. and have a good day. Thank you. All right. In five seconds, give yourself three compliments. Um, I just got an 84 on my first exam. So that's good. Um, good uh, studier. Okay. I like my hair. Yeah, I think so. Was that three? <laughs> okay, that was three. I think. What you said? What's the second one you said? Studying. Studying. Yeah. All right, that's solid. That's solid. Mm -hmm. All right. Appreciate that. That's why I want to, I basically want to like, I'm a photographer by the way. Okay. So basically I just want to like give people like a tangible item. I feel like we don't get that as much anymore, That's you know? True. And basically just get some wholesome content of asking some questions. And I put it in my pocket just so like the sunlight won't get to yeah. it. And while it's, while it's developing, I'll ask you a question. Okay. okay. <laughs> so when people look at you, what do you think they think? Um, I mean, usually I think, like, it depends on where I am because I go to the gym a lot. But, mm -hmm. um, I mean, I think they probably see, like, a confident girl who's pretty. Mm -hmm. But, like, that's just what I think they perceive me as. Gotcha. Um, I don't know. It's, like, different because, like, I know I'm not always that confident and sometimes I'm insecure. Right. But it's just, like, I think that's what they see. Mm -hmm. And I think it's really interesting because I'd love to see, like, the way people see me. Because gotcha. I don't know how they see me. I understand that. Yeah. That's, that's one of my things. So I'm like, I never get to see myself yeah, from exactly. another person's perspective. And what's something about yourself that you would want people to know? Um, I'm very kind. I'm a very loving person. Like, I give my love to, like, everybody if I can. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, I mean, I think I just, like, don't want people to think, like, I'm a mean person because I find, like, I put pride in myself for being, like, a good person with, like, an open heart and everything like that. 
Okay. Yeah. That's great. And what was your name again? Sydney. Sydney, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. All right, three, two, one. Hmm. I got. Two, I kind of have two questions, but I got one. All right, let me see. What's the most interesting thing about yourself? About myself? Mm-hmm. Mm, I don't know. I'm pretty interesting. I like a lot of stuff. Name one of those things. Diverse. Okay, name one of those things. Mm, I love, like nature. I'm good at snowboarding. Gotcha. Okay. I like to skate. All right. Nice. <laughs> All right, thanks. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right. All right. So I'm Derek. I'm a photographer. I didn't mention that in the first part, but um, basically the question is, when was the last time you feel like you've been hurt? Um, let, me re- let me rephrase that. When was the last time you feel like you've been understood? Understood? Mm-hmm. Like a couple minutes ago, I was just talking to my friend Sean. Um, yesterday was Valentine's Day. Um, we were just talking about love in general mm-hmm. and how like um, in a platonic way and like being friends, like how we like both feel like we're not putting enough effort into our friendships but at the same time like we're so like, we're still transitioning into adulthood and like how people don't have like time to like see each other and all that mm-hmm. um but sometimes we do have the time but we're just afraid to ask um like that whole effort thing and like if you don't like put in the effort sometimes you feel like not a good person um but yeah that was that was probably the last time i found just it yeah so basically y'all cleared up the air and basically came on like a common ground i guess you could say yeah like we weren't even like talking about each other we were just talking about in general got you um okay. which was sweet and then it became like oh so we talking about each other at the same time too yeah it felt like like i don't know i gaslight myself sometimes like yeah. thinking like i'm not a good person for like reaching out to my friends or whatever same but like um sean felt the same way but it's like that feeling being understood by multiple people makes you feel like less lonely in that manner. And like make you feel like that idea isn't like irrational, like doesn't make any sense. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. All right, well, that's the end of the interview. Uh, thank you, I appreciate that. All right. Tell me one fond memory about your childhood. Dang. <laughs> um, I guess being forced to go outside and like that one crazy night that you have with your cousins where y'all just all have fun and end up just falling asleep wherever yeah you want to elaborate on you want to tell me about it or you just i mean like it would be a summer night y'all would go outside and just do mm-hmm. dumb am i allowed to curse on here i mean i probably could be oh no i'm just not gonna curse there okay. like to do like crazy stuff like you know you get the nerf guns fill them with water just start spraying each other water balloon fights stuff like that you remember, like, when people used to ride their bikes everywhere around the neighborhood? Yeah. We used to do that. We used to, like, make little cars out of our bikes and then just, like... Gotcha. And yeah. do you miss that? Yes. What about it? Do you? What about it? Like, what do you miss about it the most? I haven't did it in a long time. I can't tell you the last time I, I was with my cousins. Okay. All right, well, thank you. I appreciate that. And now let me get your photo. Okay. And I get to keep it. Yeah.